Hi, and welcome to another 5-Minute UAD Tip. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new UAD Neve 1073 Mic Preamp and EQ Collection. With the 1073 plug-in and Unison technology, you'll be able to add tons of genuine Neve character to your tracks. The new 1073 collection can be used as a standard 1073 within your DAW for mixing, or as a mic preamp with Apollo audio interfaces in unison mode for tracking. In this video, we'll cover both applications. We're going to use a kind of vibey rhythm track and add some new drums, bass, and vocals. First, let's start with the drums. We've got kick, snare, and stereo overheads already recorded, so these are perfect for using the 1073 as a standard UAD plugin in the DAW. Since we're not using the preamp slot in the console, we're not taking advantage of the Apollo Unison features yet, but the killer 1073 tone is still available in your DAW. The 1073 plugin duplicates the original 1073 red knob control with its two off positions separating line gain and its two mic preamps. Line gain is on the right, and turning it counterclockwise increases it. Mic level is on the left and is increased by turning it clockwise. The mic pre's negative values are based on sensitivity instead of gain, so lower numbers make it louder. You can switch between mic and line operation by clicking on the mic or line labels or just clicking on the desired gain level. Starting with the kick, here's the 1073 at Unity Gain. Just having it in the path makes the drum sound warmer. Now we'll just push up the preamp level and drive it a little harder so it starts to saturate and we can even drive it up farther to make it distort in a really nice way. The classic Neve Wessex 3-band EQ is great for drums and gives you an incredible tone palette. Let's fatten up the kick and use the filter to help contain the super lows. We'll also add some punch with the mids and highs, and when we're done, we can match the level using the channel fader and output control. Hear how big it is before and after. Now let's work on the snare. Here's the Apollo preamp as a reference. And here's the 1073 at Unity Gain. Now we drive the input harder and harder. And let's give it some of that wonderful Neve color with the EQ and match the level. Here's the before and after. Okay, on to the overheads. This is a stereo track and we can use a stereo instance and adjust both sides at the same time. Wow, when you drive the input really hard on these overheads, they get big and wide. And when we add some lows, it just gets super sweet and the dynamics are already contained without using any compression. Now let's do some live recording of the bass through the 1073, taking advantage of Unison technology on our Apollo. Here I've got an 82 jazz bass and an Ampeg B115 mic'd with an EV RE20. And we'll also record a direct input so we'll have some options for later. Here's the mic input. And as we start to lower the sensitivity, the bass tone gets much larger as the 1073 starts to saturate and clip. We don't want too much, let's set it at minus 60 for now. Next, check out what changing the impedance load with Unison technology does. The RE20 is a classic dynamic mic, and like any mic, changing the preamp impedance affects its output and frequency response. It sounds way more open on the low setting, so let's keep it there for now. Now that we have the impedance and level set, let's add some of the Neve color that the 1073 EQ is famous for. As with the original 1073 hardware, the low and mid bands use dual concentric knobs for frequency and gain. You can click and drag the controls to change them, or click on the band icon to step through the frequencies. Now that we have it all dialed in, let's record it. With Unison and Apollo, your workflow is exactly like working with an analog preamp and helps you keep your creative flow going. On the vocals, the 1073 is famous for making things sound more real than real, and that's what we're after here. In silence we walk together. We'll drive up the gain and dial in the EQ until it sits nicely in the mix. Much better. The city lights refuse to shine. It's fighting becomes familiar. The city lights refuse to shine. 
The collection comes with the 1073 and 1073 SE Legacy EQ plugins, which are great for when you don't need the modeled preamp or you want to conserve DSP. The Neve 1073. The Neve 1073 preamp and EQ collection, only from Universal Audio.